don't know how much money I'm willing to spend. You don't know what I'm driving outside. If you're judging a person based upon his outfit, you lost half the war. And then you lost the other half when you sit there and you bitches fucking... Like this, yo. Bad bitches with their fucking mm -hmm. ass and titties out. And they texting. And then you want to ask... Yo, mom, yo, yo, come over here. Yo. They look at you. But at 2 o'clock, when the nigga next to you is fucking throwing up hundreds and hundreds, she's over here. Hey! Rubbing that nasty ass that smells mm -hmm. like dick all over you. Telling you, bro. Get your fucking face. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I keep telling him, he don't want to be a comedian. He's just fucking hiding all this, all this fucking hilarity to himself in the podcast. Heroin or hero? Which one are you? I'm a heroin eating a hero. Or a hero fucking a heroin. He said I'm a heroin eating a hero. <laughs> mm -hmm. dirt. Hey yo. Give him a mic check, Rich. Give him a mic check. Give him a mic check. Mic check, mic check, mic check. Mic check one four one eight. There you go. They can hear you now. All right. Talk to him. Got to get his bite. Talk so, to him. What's up, everybody? This is your boy Richard Picasso. Talk Hi. to him. And this is G out of character. Talk to him. I'm talking to you now. I tried to pass it to you. Talk to him. I passed it to you though. Oh, coming up the court. Oh, like, man, the ball, ah! the ball been out of bounds since like five minutes ago. <laughs> You're like, ah, I'm ready. Anyways, fourth quarter's over, nigga. This is almost episode like almost ninety or something. Yeah, yeah. no, we're past ninety. We're almost up a hundred. Oh, I'm almost at our 100 episodes. Please. Yeah, we're almost at 100. I think we're like 97 or 96 or some shit. Damn, man, like 90s, damn. It's for a minute. Shout out to Prime. You know that they'll sponsor us. I heard that's the drink of drinks. Yo. Logan, sponsor us. But you know, let me see. We'll be your most low-level podcast to sponsor a, a mainstream drink. <laughs> it has to be the coconut water that really gives you the kick. But they say, where is it? It's, it's, I swear they look, said for look, kids not to drink. Why would kids not drink? I mean, I, because it's like a workout drink. I, I swear they said for kids not to drink yeah, somewhere. I could I could see that. Because I remember drinking even back in the day because they're so high in like vitamins. It's like for adult, like adult type of vitamins that you can't give them to like kids. Oh, really? Yeah. Like if you have a fucking, if you're like 14 years old and you're, you know, even at the gym, you, you're going to be drinking a drink that has like a thousand percent riboflavin in it. I guess so. I guess so. It's going to fuck, it's going to mess with your, like, your... What's that? Your ne nah, nuclear yeah, your, structure. Your, yeah, nah, your, <laughs> your, your, growth. Your, your growth. Yeah, yep. it, it might fuck up your growth. Absolutely. Why do you think you'd be seeing like girls that are like 13, like 12 years old and they got like pretty much woman chest? I'm like, you can, can't be having those, those, those big at that age. Like what? Well, I will say energy drinks are very bad for you too though. Like energy drinks. And generally energy drinks are bad for you. Like. Like but, if, if there's, there's proper ways when and when to use them. Exactly. Like, five-hour energy used to make my skin break out. Five-hour energy made me want to break my head on the wall. I get itchy, like, and my skin gets Cause, hot. Because isn't the caffeine, like, almost, like, 2,000% or some crazy shit? I don't thing? know. Some crazy shit. But, but, but what's crazy is you see a, a Starbucks. You ever drink a Starbucks All the time. double shot can? The no. The 15-ounce energy can? No, but my friend did. My nigga, this thing called a triple shot. It got 225 milligrams of caffeine in it. That's like heroin. Bro. It's called a triple shot. Yo, Matt, like, you ever had um, Death Wish coffee? Mm mm. <laughs> Even the name. It's a real, it's a real drink. My Joey, he bought one for his work because he worked overnights. He worked like twelve days, so he always needed like a pick me up, like to work. The caffeine, I swear to God, it was like probably three thousand percent. Mm mm. So. He, mind you, he just took like a sh like a sip. He had like a full coffee. He took like a sip. And he was like, it came at him like, like how drugs would come at you. Like it'd be, oh, what? this is this is nothing. Like I don't feel. It, nah, it's just straight. And it's like straight head rush. Like he's like at work. He's like, he's like Fuck I remember. That. I remember the whole eight hour shift. And I was just slapping my legs. I didn't even move because they had like he had like no responses. He was like working the ER and he's like this the whole time. And then like, you all right, man? He's like, yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. But like, like you said, though, there is time and place to drink them. Mm -hmm. You know, because if you... I noticed that I've drank in like an energy drink when I was tired, and it didn't help me. It made me more tired. Yep. 
It does that for me. <laughs> it does that for me at work. I mean, because you know, I get my coffee and it's like I'm I'm tired. You a coffee man every morning? Yep. What what, what kind of coffee? I'm a light and sweet guy. Sometimes I go too light and sweet. So sometimes I overdo it with the sugar and the milk. Sometimes I want like my milk. I want to touch my coffee and it's like almost warm. I want it to have like almost more milk than fucking coffee. Yeah, you you only drinking it for the taste. Yes, because it tastes good. And then like I start getting like dumb tired after like an hour. But that's because you're not drinking it strong enough. Yeah, I'm drinking it like a bitch. Like, 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 light and sweet was the way I always like my coffee too, but unfortunately, it's not strong enough. It's not. It doesn't do what coffee's supposed to do. Coffee's supposed to fucking da da da. Like I'm supposed to. <laughs> just so. So what are the topics for today? I know we got a lot of Supreme well, we Court just, decisions, we, you, all this crazy we, stuff. We, we could fucking yeah, we can go right into that shit. Like um, the su- Supreme Court shit mm-hmm. you just mentioned. What's Those going on? Are... What's going in the music world? What's going on? Oh, Lou Lou Uzi Vert dropped the pink tape. Uh, so it's not being received very well by the hip hop community. Uh, so you heard? I mean, I haven't really explored it, but I mean, it's Uzi. What about the other one that came out? There was another mainstream guy that came out. What I'm telling you is that it's not being received. Like, and then, you know, there's not an album of the year yet. Nope. I don't even think our hip hop album went number one this year. That's what I'm saying. There's no hip hop album of the year yet. This is gonna go number one for hip hop, hmm. and that's so disrespectful. Cause Uzi Vert, all due respect to you, homie, you ain't a rapper no more. You're a rock star now. You make rock star music. You know what I'm saying? Like that's like calling Drake a rapper. Drake raps, but he's not a rapper. He's 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 he's, he's a different plateau. Lil Uzi Vert, his fans, especially. Especially when you come out a song like, I just want to rock. Body yada yada. So he got the body yada Yo, you know that whole song is beat, right? He's not saying shit. He, uh, he's not saying shit. <laughs> it's just all beat. And that's his album. <laughs> his album, he ain't saying shit. He's just rocking out. I heard six songs. I was like, all right. And there's like, what, 28 songs or Bro, something? Bro, it's an it's a hour worth of music, an hour plus. It's a fucking head. It was really hard to get into it. He got Nicki on one of them. Yeah, but it's for the music is for kids though. Look at Nicki and Ice Spice. That oh, song that they did. Song? That yeah. song I is didn't childish. Like, I did not like my it. My point, the song is like they in my opinion, artists are trying to downplay into the market of kids so badly that as adults, we're not we're not we're not meeting eye to eye. Like but why are we turning like a song like that? A bar- the Barbie girl saw it to a trap sale. Oh, because they're playing into the kids. Look, but how hard you got playing the kids? Oh, well, look, look, record sales went down since streaming. Look, movies, movies, the quality of movies. Remember how good you movies used to be? Now the you quality. You look forward of, to go to the movies, but the movie quality is going down. Why? Everything, <sighs> everything goes down because of technology. Our technology allows us, like. Let's take let's take music for instance. Music used to sell a lot more. Remember niggas back in the day. Remember Kanye and Fifty had the beef, and and niggas was selling platinum, double platinum. They in were like, actually in less than two weeks. Hard copies of a CD and going double fucking triple platinum and shit. Think about that. There's over a million copies sold a couple times. Now 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 it's not like that. Now it's I have access to your music at any point in time with a streaming service. So as an artist. These niggas try to get the most money by going towards the demographic that would pay the most for it. Cause you know there's some little kid like, Mom, I wanna go to a little Uzi Vert concert concert. He's coming, he's coming this month. I'm sorry, he's coming this month, please, please. It's six hundred dollars for a ticket. Yep, but mom, I don't ask you for nothing. I love you. Come on, you sound the best song. Come on, I just nah, really want to see you. You don't ask me for nothing, but you're asking for kind and of then a the lot. Kid goes to the show, time. right? And then the kid goes to the show and it's a sixty dollar shirt there. Fuck that. Right? And no, then, not even. More, I, remember, right? I remember going to a Beyonce concert. A, a regular t-shirt was like almost 80 bucks. You would think that thing was made in Balenciaga. Was it good material at least? No! It's never good material when you got concert shirts from the concert. You're stupid. You ever you, you ever been to a concert, you bought a t-shirt, and then after like probably two or three times, it shrinks? Or it's like where the wear gets off easier? The only thing that'd be super original is when you go to um sports games. Yes. When you, you go, go to sports, sports games, games and you go to the, the, the stores in there yeah, and you the buy a jersey. and stuff, those are authentic. But yeah, when you go to somebody's show, no. 
It's not you're not gonna get the best quality shirt. They, the nigga just finished printing them up last night. <laughs> no, they're still hot. The the, the 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 screen print didn't even like fully stick on yet. It's still faded. <laughs> you know, and, and and like I said, that's the thing. Like they're playing down to the kids because the kids buy this shit. Look, say what you want. Say what you want. It's not many grown men in the street, 35, 40, 45, 50 years old, banging on each other. Banging on each other, oh, shooting each other. That way, that way. There's, there's kids, 20, 25, 15, 16. It's these kids banging on each other. So when you think about that, and you think about as an artist, who buys my music? No 50-year-olds, nigga. You know what I'm saying? No 50-year-olds buy your music. You know what I'm saying? No, the kids buy your music. The kids buy your merch. So these artists are doing the best that they can to play into the kids, which which is a, hey, get your money, my nigga, but don't sacrifice our children either. I always stand on that standpoint. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get the money. Don't sell, don't, but you can't call a kid a piece of shit if you went ahead and you let him listen to some piece of shit fucking music and bad influences. If the kid is in his room listening to slitcher wrist music <laughs> 24 fucking hours a day, how are you going to expect the kid not to be a slitcher wrist type of nigga? Like... Like, let's call a spade a spade. You know, our, it's, and I get it. Like you said, Rich, how else are you going to get paid? Well, my nigga, then do shows. Do shows, perform. Well, if you can't do the shows, well, if you can't sell out the show. Well. Well, you got to go after And the you're kids. right. You got to go after the kids. You, I don't know. It's still scumbag It sucked. That's, I mean, they always said the music industry was a monster. Bro, you got fucking 12, 13-year-old girls. Fuck the fact that. The, the 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 hormones in the chicken got their bodies looking looking crazy. older than they should right be. now you got 12 13 year old girls that are actually speak in the lingo of what grown women speak because they're being talked to by men by young boys in a derogatory manner so these women now grow up even faster mm. than they were expected to grow up because of, you know what I'm saying? Like they're, they're like 12 and they're trying to be like a normal girl. And then by the time they're 16, it's, it's not gonna work, bro. And then by the time you're 16, they you talk- suck four dicks. <laughs> Everybody in the school knows about you. And your name moving, is Hefany. And you're moving around like you're 24. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Your name is Hefany. You over here, they and and, and you then, want to fight everybody. You want to fight every well, bitch no, that no, talks she probably, about she you. She probably ain't gonna fight. She, she, probably, she gotta get one fight. You right, you right. She, 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 might, be, she might be a mean chick just because she sucks so much dick. Uh huh. Nobody can say nothing about her. In the hallway, and then, you know she's gonna punch that chick in class and go to the principal's well, office. Well, I ain't gonna lie though. If if if, if these if, stories from my mom, like school. if you if if you catch a girl sucking a dick in the hallway, the etiquette is not to bring it up because that's how you get your suck your dick sucked next in the hallway. You can't. Leave it alone. You can't. Nigga, that's her business. Let her finish her job. All right, we don't condone none of this, by the way. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Euphoria, that's a trash show. Don't watch that shit. We don't condone none of this shit in here. Like We're not Euphoria. Grow up at your own leisure. Don't follow the influences of music. Live your own life. Don't follow Netflix. Definitely Netflix. (laughs) Not everything is Squid Game. You know what I mean? Like, don't do it to yourselves, ladies. Look. And men, you look, little boys, look, stop ruining go play our women. sports. Yeah, stop being incels and join a baseball porn all day. football team. Go join a team, join a club, like a nice club, like a chess club. Build your nigga said chess club. Your mind. What's wrong with chess club? It's fucking awesome. There's nothing wrong with chess club. But ask how many kids nowadays know how to even play chess. Know what the word chess means. When you say chess to them, they think a URL battle rapper. <laughs> 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 the battle rapper chess. Let's get it. You know I'm saying you say chess to these kids don't chess. I don't, chess? Even, I don't even think some of them I play trouble. <laughs> I can believe it. Like trouble is like the most simplest board game in the fucking world. You know what it is though. Like I noticed that these kids are forced. They're forced into maturing and getting older faster. They ain't really got a choice, my nigga. Like we didn't have a choice. We had to learn what our parents knew after they knew it, right? These kids don't got a choice. They 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 in the streets so they they see the fashion music and entertainment shift culture, it shapes culture. When the music and the entertainment and what people digest, it's not so much the news. I don't hold the news responsible for us being a little bit crazy in twenty twenty three. People can be oh the news you know fake news or they report they only show the worst things on the news. You, know? you ain't gotta watch the news, and yes you ain't gotta listen to the music or watch the movies neither. But there's a cultural influence that happens when that song, like when Michael Jackson came out with Thriller, you could have not been a music person, but you still had to recognize what the fuck it did to everybody. 
And that's, in my opinion, the problem with music nowadays. It doesn't have the same impact as it used to. It used to, they put out a song, somebody put out a song, it was yeah. dope. It was impactful. It lasted. Because in those times, it was like, it took a lot of craft just to make one song. Yeah. Now, yeah. today, yeah. you agree. could just upload uh, your laptop, find a beat, and rap over. You could literally bang out like two or three albums in one sit in one day. I agree. With like each one having 13 tracks. Back then, it's like, you had to know how to play an instrument. Yep. You had to know how to sing. You had to know how to hold yep. notes. You had to know how to like plan like a tour. You had to like really sit down and think this out. Now yep. it's to become more easy. Yep. A lot more accessible to yep. do these things, to get your music out there, to get a showcase, to set up a tour. Like you could literally have zero dollars and zero sets and throw a tour for yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. You just gotta know the right people. Absolutely. Places that are free. Nigga, and- fuck the right people. You 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 can you you now now you can stay home and decorate your room in a green screen. And make your entire room green screen and be anywhere you want to performing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't, you literally don't even have to go out and perform. You don't, you don't have to. And you know, we speak from an ignorant point because you and I aren't on tour. Mm. You and I aren't these big artists that, like right now, there's an artist getting set up to go perform later. Getting set up, getting ready, and it's a big performance. There's 10,000 people in that crowd right now. You know, so we speak from a place of being a little naive because we we're not there to be there. But at the same time, it's like, all right, if your if your biggest strength to your song is how you perform it, then what what is the song really? What is the song really? What you know what I'm saying? Just keep it a buck. I never been on any tour ever in all my years. You went to ATL. That wasn't a tour. That was just going to a show and performing and leaving. I didn't do like you did a, one show and left. I did one show and left. With my with my father, wow! I didn't like try to hit up all the circuits because that was for um A three C at the time, and all those shows at those at those times were like each one was like less than five hundred, and I just wanted to do that one particular show, and then I met there was I think the headliner I forgot her name but she was like just signed on to Def Jam and she was like the headliner, and it was a dope show, saw a lot of crazy stuff like girls in the south. We, they bodies be looking crazy out there. I was like, God damn. Boy. Well, yeah, you know, everything's bigger and thicker in the South Pauls. Sure is. Sure is damn big. Like, East Atlanta is, is definitely something down there. Can we, can we have that conversation real quick? Do you really care about a fat, fake fat ass and fake titties? Do you really care? No, not really. I mean, when you know when it would bother me? When... Oh, damn. If it looks like weird, like cartoonish looking. Well, well, not that. The scars, too. Like you see some bitches that get their titties done and they have this scar on the bottom of oh, it. Like, like no, the not beer? the underboob scar. The one that goes straight you seen, down. You ever seen like the big underboob scar? That yeah, shit, yeah. It should be like folding. I was like, mm. it's not attractive. Like, like I I love bodies. Don't get me wrong. Body, women that are body up, like, like you body up correctly though. No, no, there's, but there's some. Like I should. You can't go from like an A cup then to straight to a C cup. That looks Yo, weird. Oh, you should. Yeah, but you um you be, I be seeing women with six packs that just. Oh, it makes me feel like shit as a guy. Yeah, I'm like, damn. Like if I punch you right now. Nigga, if I put my dick in her, her vagina will put a guillotine on my no. shit. And if I move, it'll break. No, I think if I put my mine in there, huh? you can could, you could see it will fall. And you can see the veins through her stomach. Oh, I love flat stomach stuff. Oh, but I, like I, I, wonder, but I wonder. I'm, I'm not a little, even a little chap. Like I, I wanna, I wanna see. Um, I'm dying to see. Like I wish I could go like ten years, twenty years into the future and see the bad chicks that I like watching now. What they look like. I wanna see how what about how the well it holds you up. Saw ten years ago. Because some points I don't see I them see, like that. There was some porn stars back then that do not look like that. They do I don't now. see them like that. Like porn stars I saw ten years ago. Mm. Like I don't, they're not they're veterans now. Mm. They come out every now and then to do a scene. Mm-hmm. They they're solidified. You mm-hmm. get it? Like they don't they're goaded. Yeah, they're goaded. They don't have to fucking suck mad dicks in one day. They could suck one dick they, once a year. But you know what it is um with porn stars and um um We should go to a porn convention. Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind. They got one in November. I don't mind. But but with porn stars though too, you gotta remember, um they they peak on screen. Alright. Think about this. On screen We've been watching this porn star for five years. Let's just say me and her, been, me and you've been watching her for five years, right? Now, she's peaked. 
She's fucked all the dicks. There's no more dicks to fuck. Anything else, it's still going to be like whatever her price is for the scene. A new guy, a young guy. But what m- most porn stars will take advantage of is the private, the private, um, the private money. So for instance, I'm a rapper. I like Rachel Starr. All I gotta do is DM or hit up Rachel Starr's fucking management. Mm. Like, and all, all respect to you, Rachel Starr, if you ever see this shit, because mm. I, I would really like to fuck you. So I don't want you to take it the wrong way. Mm. But we're gonna clip the insanity turk. No, no, but but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> but that's why I said all due respect. I would love to have sex with that woman because I've been watching her naked and fucking for years. So for me, it'd be like a fantasy to have sex with her. Now, when you're famous. Rapper, entertainer, Donald Trump. When you got money, no, no, no because it's true. No, because it's true. Think about it. You know, when you got money, you, you, and you want to have sex with these women. It's really not that hard. It's not that hard no more. You're not a regular Joe. You're not going to a porn convention. You're not. You're not a creep DMing her and liking all her pictures and shit. Like, you know, this is not fuck a fan. This is not fuck a fan. This is a business arrangement right now. And prostituting and whoring yourself out is the oldest form of currency in the human being race. That's the oldest form of currency was giving away your body. So when when women make the decisions, make the choice that, hey, this nigga's paying me how much? 80 grand? 80 grand to be in my pussy for half an hour? Duh. <laughs> Because half of them don't get paid for them scenes like that. Nope. You know they get paid like a thousand or two thousand, yeah. something minimal. I, I, I ain't gonna mention the porn person's name, but there, there was a video. My man was gonna shoot a video, and he wanted to do like a live action type of porn. Let's go. Scene. So he hit up the chick. She DM back like her pricing, and she was like kind of fairly new, like in the world. But she, but she was pricing. No, she was only eight hundred for an hour. Oh yeah, no, 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 yo. My nigga, don't get it twisted. Like, there's a... Oh, I forget the name of the website. There's a website that you can actually... Fuck, come to me, come to me. Forget it. It's like a four-letter word or some shit. Love. But it's a website... Yeah, right? There's a website that you can actually... Like, I looked on it I looked on it before because I was like... So I want to have another threesome. Hmm. But I want to have a threesome with consensual adults. I don't want it to be like, all right, we just took some drugs and then it happened. No, no, you no, want no. Like an arrangement. No, like, no, I want an arrangement. I want. It'll I want, be the whole. Let's go to dinner. Yeah, for I want, yeah, yeah. I want. Well, yo, let me hang out with two beautiful women, mm-hmm. right? Or let me hang out with a beautiful woman, right? And then, and then I, I, later on that, the arrangement is I got another. Now there's a website, my nigga, and a chick that I watch in porn. I think her name is Amy, not Amy Reed. Uh, Amy Anderson. Amy Anderson. Uh, she got like extremely huge knockers. Yo, extremely huge knockers and big lips. She's on that website. Uh, her price was that like that too. Her price was like a thousand dollars for for. I was looking at it like that's cheap as fuck. Yeah, I mean like, sex is part of our human nature. Hmm. We don't have to make it weird because some people do it on camera and get paid for it. Like we're here because of sex. We're here because of fucking. <laughs> it's okay if they fuck up. Like, oh, speaking of which, <laughs> you know Adam Twenty Two let a black nigga dig his wife down, right? Oh yeah, um, Jason Love. I actually know that guy. <laughs> Adam 22 let a 15-inch cock into his And woman. he just got married. How does that conversation occur? Do you I think mean, he she... is, didn't he, like, explain it? Like, you know, he kind of... It was like a, like almost a year conversation that he had because he wanted her, you know... Because it was money coming in. It was, like, more of a money thing. Okay. It's like, it can't only just be me, you, like, me piping chicks out with you and another girl. And she was, like, I guess in the conversation the miss, like... There's more. There's, there's dudes that want me. There's dudes out there that want me to fuck other men besides you, and they'll pay a lot more money than you than us having these threesomes with these chicks. And nah, son, too- you, you, that's some, that's some real cuck. What, what's it called? Cuck. 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 cuck that's yeah, some real cuck. nigga. Cuckery. Look, look. People yeah. fuck. People fuck. And if you think for a half a second that a chick that you're sleeping with didn't have a bigger dick than you in her, you fucking bugging. They seen it as more but of a now, business thing. But but that's my thing. That it's one thing when your person has fucked another person and you know it. That's already a it's a whole nother thing when he got a 15 inch cock <laughs> and you're in the room. <laughs> you're in the room. But, watching. but, but if you're not in the room. He was definitely in the room. He a creep. 
That nigga was watching her make these sounds he's never heard before. He probably, he probably, yo, he, not only was he in the room, that nigga watches the porn on fucking rerun. Because there's no way you're a, a normal human being letting your girl get piped down on camera for a living and you're not a porn star. He's not a porn star. Right. He sells sex. He sells fucking porn stars. And you know what? It, it, yo, it gets me mad because it plays back into what I just said. If you got the fucking money, the bitches will do it. Just because Adam Twenty Two got the money, he's a millionaire. It could have been, but it could have been any dick in those videos. He made a choice to be the egotistical dude. My nigga, when you look at the comments in all of Adam Twenty Two's videos, they all say that nigga looks like he smells, <laughs> and he does. Nobody want to see your old white bald head, salt and pepper, tattooed fucking. You culture vulture fire the black people on your platform, letting letting your wife get piped down. Nobody wants to see you let your money talk for yourself. Because at this point, for me, Adam22 is just, he a right. wild boy, bro. Like, you are just a nigga with money, and you want to you wanna let the worst of the world right. see it. Here, I got money. I can fuck you, any bitch I want. You, you're nigga, academic. If you're paying for pussy, it's not that good of pussy. Uh, you're an academic, said? What? He said, this is some white people shit. No, 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 no. This is, this is, this is... This is not only white people shit. This is this is um this is cult shit. Cult shit. Yeah, this is cult. Why would we? Shit. Why would we a cult? Thing? Why would it be cult? Because it'll start. It'll start. Look, think about it. She was cool with him fucking bitches with her there. Boom. Yes. Now he just stepped into the realm where she can fuck niggas now. Boom. So what's the next step if these two people can go out and fuck who they want to fuck? They both got money. They both got their own they're, network. They're, they're both rich. Rich. So you know what that is, nigga? They can start... They can literally buy a house, get 10, 12... They can recycle people that they want to live with them and mm. fuck them whenever they want to. Because they could pay for it. They could afford it. You're going to tell me that Adam 22... There hasn't been a time where that nigga paid for six bad bitches to live... Yo, just live with me for a month. Here's... Nigga, rich niggas do that. Fucking... The Island Boys was talking to Takaki Six Nines. Uh, no, not uh, I think it was Fetty Wap's baby mom or one of these rap niggas' baby mom. Mm -hmm. And she was like, "See, I fucked Takashi Six Nine, but at least he paid me eighty thousand dollars to start my business. My baby daddy just gave me a baby and kid and a whole bunch of headaches." Mm -hmm. So think about that. Like for all you people that think that pussy's exclusive, that shit got a price on it. Just like all you bitches that think that that dick is exclusive, that shit got a price on it. There's a price well, on your privacy. Well, maybe that's like for more elites, like people who can afford those type of pussies. Bullshit. I just told you, nigga, you could fuck Amy Anderson for a thousand. You just told me yep. a man just found it. Bullshit. It's mm -hmm. not it's not it's it's how far you All right, would you go. want would you want to do that now? Would I fuck Amy Anderson? Would you would you call like go on that site you said and just get all these porn stars? If I had money? If, if, you, I, if I right now. If if I didn't if I didn't have situations to deal with, or even if like my partner or whoever it was okay with it. Like, if I didn't have... If I didn't... And I don't really have anybody to... That I have to be like, Hey, yo, I'm gonna go do this. I don't got nobody to say I got what I'm gonna do. But that's a lifestyle. I, I, if I didn't wanna... If I didn't wanna put my money into investing into myself, you know, my business, the shirts, the, if I didn't wanna put my money into that, absolutely, nigga. If I, was, if I was a nigga that just worked and went home, yo, if I was a nigga that just worked mm. and went home, mm -hmm. I would be getting fly pussy all day. Mm. Even if I'm paying for it. Because that's where my check would go to. In a perfect world, my nigga. Like in a perfect world. I still live with my parents. Mm. Hear me out. I still live with my parents in a perfect world. Mm. 34. I still live with my parents in a perfect mm. world. And a little bit of rent here and there. You take about thing. Nigga, night times? Friday nights? Saturday nights? There's a new bitch that I've been grooming, talking to. Or we already had the business arrangement. I paid her already. To be on the fucking seventeenth floor in Manhattan, hmm. nice hotel where I can go ahead and get in that hotel out of work, fresh, clean. Don't worry, God, about buying an outfit, looking good. Oh shit, I'm gonna go out tonight and go back some bitches, or, or, or spending thousands of dollars in a strip club, or spending money on alcohol in a spot just to try to talk to somebody and her give you a nasty attitude, not give you your number, or have to do it again tomorrow because she ain't gonna fuck you on the first night. You just met her. That, that, that's hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, paying for pussy is not a problem. I'm not saying I do it. I'm saying I did it. I didn't fuck her, though. 
I was so high up on Molly that I paid for the pussy to talk to her for two hours. Pimp was knocking on the door. I gave Shorty $400 to talk to her for two hours. That is a simp. You hear me? Hmm. That look, Like, this is me telling you some shit. Like, I don't have to. I have. But even when you get in that situation, nigga, it's a different type of man to fuck some pussy you paid for. You, you, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dude that loves women so much that even when paying for the pussy, I'm like, damn, I feel so bad that all it takes is this much money for you to give me some pussy. Like, part of me feels guilty, felt guilty. Why? Like, that's why I didn't fuck that bitch and say what you want. I talked to her for fucking two, two and a half hours, paid for her $400. Her pimp came up knocking on the door and she was like, I'm good. I'm good. No, everything's good. She's like, you sure you don't want to fuck? You sure? I'm like, nah. I was high up on Molly. My dick was hard as fuck. I just, in that moment, was thinking so introspective. I'm like, damn. Yeah, this we're, poor we're, girl. We're, any of these niggas could pay four, five, six hundred dollars and just fucking stick their dick in her mouth till she's fucking crying. Hmm. It's that simple, though. That's why I don't, that's why, like, that's why I said, in a perfect world, nigga, when I get older, if I don't have to deal with kids and family, hell, yo, honey. Answer your phone. I'm paying for all that pussy. Yo, even if it's one once a month that I have three bitches I paid three grand for. Four grand for. Mm. For me, that's fine. Mm. That's f- you because it's a big difference, my nigga. Going out there and trying to be on dating sites and dating people and, and meeting people and oh she's not your match. Oh you you nah nigga. You want you 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 want something from me? What you want? You want you, you want money from me, right? I want you to make me feel good. This is a beautiful arrangement. There's nothing wrong with paying for sex, and there's nothing wrong that you for you women that self sell sex. There's nothing wrong with that shit. This this is part of our human nature. And for that, for those people, Rich, come on, son. How many people are mad shy? Can't talk. I know a lot of them. Can't talk, can't bag, can't, can't. And, and, and then, with the weirdos I grew up with. And then that nigga and then that nigga grows up. Look, and then he grows up, right? And that and that thing that bothered him becomes now a problem where he's like, Oh, she's so sexy. Oh, she's and then he's sitting in the back of a fucking room jerking off. Because he's like, I just can't take it no more. I didn't get no pussy all my life. And, get, and she's just standing right there. Fuck it, I'm going for it. Mm. Like, yo, it's not healthy. Like, why you think priests fuck up? See, touching little boys. Is something that you can really tell they the development of telling you you can't have relations with another human being and then half of it yeah some of you priests are really fucked up you probably became priests just to touch little boys but for the niggas that just want to fuck and can't fuck because you got that fucking white collar on and you made an agreement with something that doesn't exist I get it like why do you think they have ministers and, and, and different churchgoers that are allowed to fuck and have families. Because sex is part of our nature. And if you hold people back from having sex, you create wild, crazy fucking people. And it's not like sex is everything. But yo, B, for, I love it. I love it. I love it when a nigga tells me sex ain't a big deal. You right, my nigga. It's not a big deal. To you. To you. Because you don't want to get your shit pushed in because you don't want... you You may not... Have the audacity to tell somebody, tell it, yo, come sit on my face. <laughs> See, that might not be in your, that might not be in your mo. But, but you can't go ahead and it, it. For me, it's it, it's crazy when somebody says that. Like it's crazy when somebody says they're not, they're just not that into sex. Like I've left chicks, my nigga. I told you, I was hitting, I was hit, I was with this chick for two years. God bless you too. Three kids, beautiful, beautiful woman. Hitting up three years together in a relationship. And then one day I'm fucking hitting it from the back like I said, ah! And I stopped, and I stopped, and she's still going. She's like, ah, 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 ah. And I'm like, yo, you know I stopped moving like 20 minutes ago, right? She's like, 20 minutes ago? Yo, I stopped moving like 15, 20 minutes prior, bro. She was still making these noises like I was fucking her. Hmm. So I had to have the conversation with her. I said, yo, you lying to me. You like, you faked the nut. She goes, no, I didn't fake the nut. I can't feel nothing down there. What do you mean? Mm. My uncle molested me when I was fucking younger and I can't feel nothing down there. Mm. It don't feel the same as what you're feeling. So she faked the funk just to make me happy. Mm. But I couldn't do it. Mm. If somebody's not... If you don't... If you don't... And like I said, like, sex isn't everything. 
But goddamn, we got here by fucking. You know, you, 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 man. Yo, I feel bad for, I, I, and I'm reeling in my own brain because it's, it's, it's like personal shit. You know, like, I come from, I come from fucking four or five times a day, no cap. When I was 20 years old, 15 years old, well, not, not, not I'll go in my 20s. When I was 15, I was bad. Like, really bad. Like, I couldn't find the hole. <laughs> like, a chick bent up. My nigga. I was 15, fucking in my crib, and shorty, and shorty goes, you want to hit it doggy style? I was like, okay. Yo, Col- <laughs> Colombian chick, fucking huge ass, B. My man's in the living room. My man's in the living room chilling while I'm in my room with her trying to get it on. This is our first time fucking, too. So we already... Did whatever, whatever. And then she's like, you want to hit from the back? And I'm like, oh, yes. Yo, bro, I was so naive to sex, I kept trying to put it in her ass because she bent over. She said, what are you doing? I said, I thought this is where, where I go. She's like, no, nigga, it goes in the pussy. I'm like, from back here? Like, her ass was so fat. I'm like, how does he even reach? <laughs> like, it wasn't until years later where I got the opportunity to get with another chick. And I said, oh, shit, it does go in this way. Right <laughs> <laughs> well, it does go this way. Like... And, and, and that's my point where it's like, yo, I know sex ain't everything, but we live in an era where, yo, women, go get those bodies done, bro. Go, 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 men, go get the fucking fake six packs and shit. Like, whatever you got to do to make yourself feel good, right? Get money, feel good, and not hurt other people while doing it. Because the fact of the matter is, like, what I'm learning is that no matter what you do in life, you're going to hurt somebody. If she walks around with a f- big titties and a big ass, there's some fat bitch fucking mad hmm. and hating on her. If, if 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 we show out with a McLaren and an F1 and we come out, niggas, oh, shit, fuck them niggas. The niggas in the car. Yo, do whatever makes you feel good because people are going to hate and try to take it away from you regardless. Like, yo, son, you asked me something earlier like about porn stars. You said 10 years later. B, I still watch Rachel Star. I would still fuck Diamond Kitty. And these are bitches from 10 years ago. I would still. It wouldn't bother me. Like, again, you people that do porn are different. You guys are just different. And and, and then you see those, like, I hate those stupid quotes. If you're over here showing your ass and titties on the gram, don't expect a man to have respect for you. Her? Yo, Her? bitch! Where do where do where do the where where do I, I oh like, so you're, what what about that girl that was get that got tongued down by YK Cyrus YK Osiris oh Sukiana Su- Sukiana you see that whole situation yeah she like, yes she shows a pussy on her fucking OnlyFans her man fucks on her OnlyFans she, she has a lap she lap dance a ten year old she okay that's weird oh, she but, did it's on video all right that's weird that's weird. But just because she's made decisions to do like that, well, twerked on the town. I want to say laughing. Yeah, yeah. All right. She gave she, she gave homie a little Woody. It's okay. If a fucking if a, if a fucking thirty year old teacher fucks a sixteen year old boy, it's not a big deal. All right. If a thirty year old woman fucks a sixteen year old boy, it's not, good job, little kid. But if a thirty year old man fucks a sixteen year old girl, that's horrible. And that's why I say it's a double standard when it comes to this shit. It, it's not like like and, and it sucks because you know just because. You suck dick on a camera just because you show your body off, got an OnlyFans. You still deserve respect. People misconstrue that because I'm fucking taking clothes off and I'm showing you my privacy, that I'm not worthy of your respect. I'm not worthy of your respect because your husband was jerking off to me in the bathroom. I'm not worthy of your respect because it's easy for me to take my clothes off, feel comfortable. I'm not worthy of your respect. Yo, my nigga, I DM porn star niggas to mm. call them goats. Mm. I'm like, nigga, I just saw you Who's porn, you a goat. Who's your favorite? I don't have a favorite porn star, dude. I really don't care about the dudes. Mm. But I'm saying, that job, that job, nigga, you try not to come with them double Ds in your fucking face and that fucking fat ass and that beautiful face, those big lips. She got her nails done, her hair done. She over here sucking you off down to the dry bone. And yo, don't come. You got half an hour. Mm. That shit's a fucking... You a goat, my nigga. You porn star niggas are goats. And you porn star women are goats as well. Or lambs. Female goats. I don't know what to call you. You guys are goats too. What are female goats? I don't know. Is there a name for them? I don't know. You can look at it. But yo, stop downplaying people that are sex workers. Stop downplaying... Unless they're cardi and they're drugging you and taking your money. Fuck them bitches. Damn. (laughs) I have to. I have to because they give a bad rep 
Don't, yo, you bitches, you bitches that drug niggas and take their money, you, you bitches give a bad rep to sex workers. Because a sex worker right. just want to do her job. What's it called? Nannies. Nannies? That's or funny. Do, or does. That's funny. Or does. Those, those, yeah, those. Like, you sex workers that fuck niggas and, 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 and drug them and take their money, you fucking the gamer. You fucking, like, I saw some shit too and Cardi was like, I did what I had to do when I was, fuck out of here, bitch. Fuck out, yo. Doing what you have to do is getting to the hotel with the nigga, fucking the nigga, letting him pay you and you go home. That's doing what you gotta do. Drugging him, taking his money for you to have a come up, that's not doing what you had to do. That's you taking advantage of the situation, bitch. Like, I can't stand... I knew a bitch... I won't mention no names, but she was in the news, in the newspaper. She was famous for this shit. Her name starts with an M. I won't say it. Yo, she was drugging niggas and fucking... She's from Queens, Bayside. No, she was drugging niggas and she got caught. Drugging niggas and taking their money. She got caught on a sting operation type shit. Hmm. But this was her M.O. You like me? I'm cool. I'm yeah, and, and, and the worst part is, is that bitches like that will fuck you. They'll fuck you. They'll fucking rock you to sleep. As soon as you sleep. And fuck you bitches in a strip club that take fucking money out of my hundreds. Hmm. If I want $500 in singles, I shouldn't get fucking four to 480 back. Hmm. Talking about $20 tip. Bitch, I ain't tipping you to give me singles. Hmm. Like, you bitches really fuck up the game, yo. Like, you bitches really fuck up the game taking advantage of niggas. Like, I get it. Niggas take advantage. We fuck whoever we I want. I can't tell if you're just talking or venting at the same time. Oh, no, 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 no. no I'm straight. I'm, I'm straight legit. I went to a strip club not too long ago. Oh. My man got $500 in singles. She gave him 480 back. So we asked why the fuck we got 480 back. Now, don't ask why me and this nigga counted 480 singles. We, <laughs> just, we just knew it. I knew it. I had a fucking... I, I knew it. Because when... The, the, the hundreds are wrapped in the stack. They come with a little band on them. Why one of our stacks didn't have a band on it? And then when we approached her and asked her, she said, you asked for $500 singles. He said, yeah. So I was supposed to, he said, sweetheart, that's not how it works no more. I get you your singles. I, I take a tip for that. Hmm. What? Nah. What? I better just go to the bank. No, I told that nigga, grab two of them bitches, let's go to the bank and make that $400 work. Because if that's what it is, I'm going in the strip club with singles now because you bitches is bugging. Like you bitches is bugging. And, and, and that's why I say, that's where the problem is, yo, yo, is in my opinion. That, Let's just make this what it should be. I'm paying for your services. Wow. Service me. She, don't, she don't, served you 20. She took 20 don't, to take don't, singles. Because I'm fucking Drake and I got a big gold chain around She wouldn't do head. that to Drake. She wouldn't do that to Drake. She would do that to Drake. They'll do it worse to Drake. Nigga, Drake was over here putting hot sauce in condoms. Because he Allegedly. was afraid bitch was going to take the sperm. Allegedly. Nah, nigga, this is what bitches no. do. No. Like, literally, yo, you're going to tell me, you're going to tell me. It was me, never confirmed. Yo, my nigga, you're going to tell me that his baby moms didn't keep the baby because he wasn't Drake? I mean, I won't say that. Get the fuck nigga. If that was a random nigga and you get some random bitch pregnant, a porn star, matter of fact. Look, she was a porn star or some shit. All right, so boom. You fuck a porn star. You get her pregnant by accident. You're a no-name Joe. You think the porn star want to keep no-name Joe's baby or let alone know that she was fucking with no-name Joe? The nigga just came out through with 20 grand to fuck me. And now when he fucked me, I got pregnant. Fuck. You think she... No, nigga. But if your name's Drake, that bitch said, yo, don't tell him nothing for the next nine months. I'm just going to pop up on him pregnant. Hmm. Oh, oh, with the DNA thing, too. I'm going to pop up with the DNA thing, too. Yo, push her. Push her. Yo, I'm pregnant and he don't want to claim his child. Text and push a T and shit. Hide in from the world. Come on, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, bitches, you... Like, I love women. And when I say bitches, I mean the bitches. When I go to a strip club, my nigga, why you bitches is all on your phone? The strippers? Like, why? Yo, literally, I don't give a fuck if prime time is 2 o'clock. I am a customer. I came in here to be served, and you don't know what I got in my pocket. You don't know how much money I'm willing to spend. You don't know what I'm driving outside. If you're judging a person based upon his outfit, you lost half the war. And then you lost the other half when you sit there and you bitches fucking like this, yo. Bad bitches with their fucking mm -hmm. ass and titties out. And they texting. And then you want to ask, yo, ma, yo, yo, come over here. Yo. They look at you. But at 2 o'clock, when the nigga next to you is fucking throwing up hundreds and hundreds, she's over here, hey, rubbing that nasty ass that smells mm -hmm. like dick all over you. <laughs> Telling you, bro. Get fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> 
I keep telling him he, he don't want to be a comedian. He's just fucking hiding all this all this fucking hilarity to himself in the podcast. So what you think about the beef, Jim Jones and Pusha T? Oh, that was kind of interesting. What would you think about that? Do you think that's do you think that's? I know Louis Vuitton show. I think that was like. Damn. Nigga, he's gangster. <laughs> he's gangster though. He's gangster to go ahead and play a song like that. At a Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton, with Jay Z and them bobbing to that shit. The beat was hard. I ain't gonna lie. No, the beat was. But, but who made it, nigga? You know Pharrell made it. Yep. You know why it was hard? Yep. But then, like, then Jimmy came back with that, uh, like on the on the block, with the with the, the hanging microphone trying to go at him. But Jimmy had to do it that way though. No, he had to take it back to the hood. Yeah, because Jimmy wasn't gonna beat him with bars. No, he he knows he can't be pushing with bars. He had to, you do, 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 he had to hit him like with the quick shit. Now, you know where Pusha comes from. You but know where you, Jimmy comes from. VA. Is this gonna escalate? No. This won't escalate. It'll just stay rap. No, it's not like how. Well, what was? The, it's not like the whole prime one child with Freddie Gibbs type things. It's not on that type of level. Yeah, but Freddie, but Freddie. The problem with Freddie Gibbs, and I don't know the nigga B. I don't know the nigga. I know, I know a but little bit. But I do bit. know something. His family isn't his brother like a cop or a district attorney. Yeah, his, like his father's like a cop. And like, 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 his like, brother's like, attorney. It, like, your life couldn't have been that bad, Freddie. Like in Indiana. Like, like, well, well, regardless of where you live, I'm gonna tell you something. I mean, this is different from a hood dude in Indiana than a hood dude in New York. Oh, uh, absolutely, and but your upbringing too. Like, if you, if you have a family that are civil servants. Like a fucking police officer, you're not gonna tell me you were running around in the streets being a fucking menace. That's not. That doesn't work, nigga. That's why you get made fun of in hip hop. Mm. You get made fun of. That's why Jim Jones gave you the molly wop in a steakhouse. In, you, in Florida, the problems. You, you Florida, got then. you got the molly wop because you play gangster. And like I said, Freddie, we ever run into each other? Salute. I like the music. I love 1985. You know what I mean? Like it's just dope. But when you play with rock. You get crack. You play with Rocky, you get cracked. It's just a fact. And he's not, Jim Jones is no one to play with, bro. He's been, you know, Dipset has been around for so long. Cameron's been around for so long. Jimmy's been in the background the whole time. Jimmy's been in the background the whole time. Yo, I hear their old uh, uh, mixtapes, and I was listening, uh, and I was with my man, and I was like, yo, this shit sounds like trash now. He's like, yeah, bro, you know why it sounds like trash? Jim Jones was mixing all this shit. Jim Jones was the one engineering and mixing all this shit. All their mixtapes sound like trash. Hmm. It brings nostalgia because what we were doing, where it came up, the music is dope. The mixes sound like shit. Hmm. You know, and that's why I say, like, Jimmy, Jimmy, in my opinion, Jimmy's been in the rap game longer than Push. Hmm. But Push was, it, with grinding, Push was on the map longer. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I honestly, I hope it don't escalate to no beef. Hmm. Because I could see that. Yo, I could see that, my nigga. I could see malice. I could see push or malice being in a spot. No, no malice. I, I could, I, no malice. I, 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 could, I could see them being in a spot. I don't give a fuck if it's a fashion show, nigga. Jim Jones goes to fashion shows. He's a fashionable nigga. This nigga is Harlem. You gonna tell me if this nigga comes through to a fashion show and pushes the other fashion show? What? They just gonna laugh and throw B signs up and, and no, nigga. Jimmy is gonna Fetty Fetty Wap him. Hmm. I mean, Fetty gives him. He's gonna fuck it. Yo, go over there. And not to say fucking Pusha can't fight or Pusha can't, but yo, we know Pusha for being a drug dealer on track. Look, all due respect, Pusha T, we don't know any of the bricks that you sold. We don't, we, you, you never caught a charge while you were in hip hop. Like they never, they never found drugs in your car while you went, you never got caught gun possession while you've been in hip hop. You've kept your nose super fucking clean. So whatever the clips used to do in the hood is irrelevant. To what is going on now. Jim Jones is really in the hood. Yep. Jim Jones is... No, 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 no. He's everywhere. No, he's really in the hood, though. Around hood, nigga. But but, but Pusha T ain't. Pusha T's an industry nigga. Pusha T's an industry nigga that that does the best brick brick talk. Hmm. He does the best brick talk out of anybody in the game. When it comes to drugs, him and Jay-Z got the best drug dealer talk. You know what the problem is? Him and Jay-Z are not drug dealers at all. So you guys are, are rapping, or well, he's rapping a facade of what he used to be. Like, Pusha T's whole gimmick never sat right with me. Mm-hmm. Dope lyricist, my nigga. Mm-hmm. But you talk brick talk. We, you never even got caught. You never even got a charge. Mm-hmm. We don't, there's not, since you've been in hip-hop, you've been super clean. Mm-hmm. So what brick talk you talk? You're just good at talking it. Mm-hmm. 
You just good at talking it, my nigga. Like that's it. And then and that's why he clout chases by beefing with a nigga like Wayne. Beefing with a nigga like Drake. You cloud chase when you do mentioning things like Wayne's contract. You sign on the one nigga, sign on a nigga, nigga, that's bad luck. You you do things like that for clout because your drug talk is all you got. Look, I ain't shitting on Pusha T, your dope rapper. Drug talk is all he got. Tell that nigga to go make an introspective song. Tell that nigga to go team up with a, a, a true R&B head. And, and fucking... Good. All he makes is brick talk music. Brick talk music, in my opinion. So what? Pusha T's gonna be 40, 50 on a track as a feature, still talking about bricks? And that's the problem. Jimmy, I believe. Hmm. Jimmy, I believe. I heard that freestyle from Jim on the street with the mic hanging. He's rapping in his fast flow, which he don't do. Fast flow ain't Jim Jones. Hmm. He's doing that on purpose to compete with Pusha T. Doing that on purpose. I fuck with Jimmy over Pusha T shit. Pusha T went ahead, took advantage. Oh, we're in an art gallery. It was, it was, oh, Jay-Z's here? <laughs> Jay-Z's here. I want to play my song for Jay-Z. I want to play my song for Jay-Z. Yo, Push, you, they, that's chump shit, nigga. That's, like, that's chump shit, nigga. Like, and I'm going to clip this, and I'm going to tag it, just like I tag Ice Spice, because it's chump shit. You rap about bricks you don't got, you never showed off, nobody even knows it. We only hear your stories. You know what I'm saying? At least you could go to Harlem, and Jim Jones' names ring some fucking bells out there. You know what I'm saying? You go to, you go to Virginia, you say Pusha T's name, what they going to do? Like, Nothing. I, I don't know. I can't say, I, but I, nothing though. He's been out of the hood for so long. He's been rich since grinding. Think about that, my nigga. They've been living in big houses and out of the hood since grinding. Hmm. Jim Jones is still in Harlem. That's why I say, like, it's hard to, it, them two shouldn't have got into a battle with each other. Because Jim Jones will wind up winning as long as he keeps rapping. Because street nigga, street, real street niggas is always going to side yeah, with Jim Jones. They're going to keep. They was going to start with Jim Jones. All you backpack rappers that want to be drug dealers, y'all can vote for Pusha T. Because that's what he is. He's, he's not a drug dealer no more. Stop all that brick talk. Like, stop. It's annoying. Like, Daytona was a dope album. Six tracks. And then that, it was dope. That's it. Like, even your next album was dope. His next album was dope after Daytona too. But the, the drug talk, it, it don't move me, bro. It don't move me. Especially when nowadays you see all these niggas dying off of fentanyl and fucking all these drugs and dope and the pill ep epidemic and all this shit. And you rap about brick talk like it's so smooth and shit. Like, I don't really fuck with I'd rather hear Jim Jones talk about how he's going to shoot a nigga. And, and that's not stupid and ignorant to say. But I'd rather hear Jim Jones talk on track saying, let's leave this in rap because you don't want it to go where it can go. I'd rather hear Jim Jones say that. Then this nigga puts the tea talking about fucking, I moved these bricks and these kilos. Mm. What kilos? Mm. The only thing you got white in your life is probably a white car. Like, dead ass. Probably the whitest thing he got in his life is a car. And it probably says brick talk on the fucking license plate. Just so he could feel egotistical about his fucking brick talk. Like, like I said, push the dope rapper. But, all that drug talk shit, my nigga, that's why Hov stopped rapping. Because Hov knows all he talks is money. And niggas didn't want to hear that shit no more. So he tried to do some shit on God Did. And you know what God did? Shut that verse down. Because that was a trash whole verse. That was trash. Like, if it ain't about money that this nigga's talking, or talking about growth, leave Hove alone. Nobody want to hear the nigga neither. Push your T. You got to figure out a new route, nigga. That brick talk, nobody believes you. You need more people. Like, we're over. I'm over it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I truly hope Jim Jones gets this nigga Pusha T the fuck out of here. Hmm. The same way Pusha tried to do to Drake, that's why it didn't work, nigga. Why you think Pusha T didn't... Why why, why you think nobody says that Pusha T killed Lil Wayne and Drake? When he came out, them niggas ain't dying for you. Remember that song? Hmm. Like, yo, he came out he came out dissing these niggas. Why nobody give Pusha T praise and say, oh, shit, he be Drake? You know why? Because nobody want to hear your brick talk. That's all you talk about. Nobody want to hear about, especially when you try to battle a nigga. Come on, bro. He an industry commercial. He ain't a gangster nigga. He don't do none of this. He don't square. Why you beefing with Drake for? <laughs> why? Oh, why? Because he's the most fucking... He's at the, the highest part of the bracket you can get in hip-hop. So let me come after the high part. Pip Shit is not stupid. Same thing picking this beef with Jones. Not stupid. Why don't you pick? Why don't you? Why, Nick, why don't you beef with somebody? Else? Why? Why didn't you have rapidy rap beef with a Jada Kiss? Why you don't have rapidy rap beef with a with a fucking 
anybody that rapidly raps. You want you want you want to have rapidly rap beef with fucking Jim Jones? Jim Jones ain't a rapper. He's a Harlem nigga. There's a difference. That's a difference. And do you put Pusha T in top fifty? Oh, that was yeah. That was the reason the whole discussion happened. Do you? Right? Top fifty? Not my top fifty. No. Of all time, probably not either. Because there's, 50, I could probably think of fifty other rappers off my head before I even. You think know of why you don't put him there either? Because he has no variety. Hmm. He has no variety. He has a dope flow, dope beats. Hey, what he's talking rapper, about is but... the same shit. It's the same shit. At least like with Jim Jones, like when I played um uh, um. Uh, what was Jim Jones' last album with Mano, wasn't it? Yeah. That shit rocks. That shit rocks from back and does what it has to do. He stays in his pocket. And it's not all about... Jo- yes, he has it all included in there, but it worked. I believe him. I can't believe people that just rap to rap. I can't. It's so hard, my nigga. It's so hard when... Especially if I know you. Like, my nigga Corey, he used to rap with us when we first came up. He was actually, like, one of the first rappers I ever known. And... The nigga would talk about cocaine and bricks. And he, he would call himself Broadway on a track. Hmm. And 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 it would it, it came it comes back to bite you. Cause in the hood, when niggas press you on it, and you ain't got no work, and you ain't got no shit. So what the fuck you rapping about brick talking shit, nigga? And that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying Pusha T don't got the connect in the plug. He don't know Poppy. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you haven't touched that life in 20 plus years. You ain't driving on the I-95 from Florida to fucking New York with bricks of cocaine in your fucking trunk. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I hate that shit. Like, I don't like to, I, like, I don't even like when the bitches, back, you know, back to the females, and, and I don't even like when the bitches do that shit in their videos. Like, you know, it's one thing to see when they, when they, when they sing or rap about sucking a dick. Like, they got this new, uh, you heard this, what's this new song? Oh, man. The bitch is talking crazy. Mm. She's talking crazy about riding the dick, sucking the dick. Sexy, my, right? She's she's talking about like my 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 man cheated, but it was my fault. And yo, she's talking crazy right? on this track. Yeah, so, it's talk, like a no rap. It's like a strip. No, it's like a strip club. One of them strip club anthem shit. Mm. But she's talking crazy on it. I'm like, I don't like this. I could do without this, and it's not because it's ratchet. It's because I know that these things exist. You ain't gotta glorify them. Joel Ortiz said it best, my nigga. He was like. Why would I glorify the hustle? Why would I glorify selling drugs? Why would I glorify the struggle I went to? Like, why would I do it? If you hear jo- Joel Ortiz raps, he raps. He raps around substance. He raps. Nigga, he comes from fucking Brooklyn pitching fucking dope and crack. And you hear that sometimes in his verses. But he don't glorify the hustle. Because that, that, like, supposed to, you're supposed to grow out of that hustle and be greater. So... How did you grow out of the hustle if you keep rapping about what you were in before? It just doesn't make sense to me. Like it just doesn't. Like mu- music, I know I know music is in like the the art is in the eye of the beholder. How you hear a song is totally different from how I I hear a song. Cool. But at the same time, I don't think it's that far off. You know what I'm saying? Like you're hearing what I'm hearing too. We're both in the same area hearing the same yes. shit. What did you um you said something about uh uh Logan Paul before. Yep. He said a lawsuit? He's in hot water? Because of uh, Crypto Zoo. If you know, like, it, that, I guess the NFT project, he tried releasing, then he keeps pushing it back. There was, like, oh, some, this YouTuber named CoffeeZilla made, like, a whole... Ding on him? Doc, ding about so it. So what, he, he made a, he made a, he made a coin? Like, he, he's making, like, a whole project where you can, like, make animals, like, fuse animals and sell them as, like, NFTs and, like, the more fuses of animals you get, like this, more fuses of animals you get, the more rare the the NFT like thing would be. It was a dope project, but NFTs are all lies. It, they are lies, and a lot of people invest into it, and, and he it, never you know, launched NFTs, it or anything. NFTs only work as long as we have a network. Hmm. All right. Yep. Like if we don't have Wi Fi, we don't have internet. Let's get shot. Yeah. Yo, B. If we don't have Wi Fi, if we don't have internet, if we don't have access to the the cloud nfts don't work because mm-hmm. now you're gonna have you're gonna have an nft right on a fucking usb yo check this out mm. how we're gonna check it out i gotta plug it in the computer mm. you know what i'm saying like mm. it, it's only good this 
would be worth more than an NFT if we didn't have computers to open it up. It's like a a belief like a belief system. You have to believe that it has its, its value. Yeah, you have to believe it has its value. Like it really it truly don't have a value unless you put a value it, on it. Like yo, this is a thousand dollars. Okay, what well, makes a thousand dollars? I believe this is a thousand dollars. See, but you know my thing is too I feel the thousand in it. I Yes. Oh, don't because I don't want I don't want to misspeak. Creating digital art is very very complicated. 3D printing, CAD programs, it can be very daunting. And when I see people use programs like Nomad and they sculpt like literally it will be a clay ball like this and the dude's using his mouth to sculpt something in the clay ball on the computer and then it goes to face and then all of a sudden it's a bow, it's a dragon. You know what I'm saying? Like you people that do that, it takes a lot of skill to do that. I'm not taking away but I will say it only lives one place. It lives in the internet. That art lives there. You can't... I give you an NS, NFT of a photo. You can't take that photo. You have to upload it to a computer and print it out anyway. That photo is worth nothing. It's in a cloud. It's in a different world. Like, that's why... That's why if they would have connected... Meta's failing. Like, Meta's failing. Mark Zuckerberg... That's why he's doing jujitsu and all that shit. <laughs> Because he's trying to get eyes off of how failing Meta is. Meta's failing. It's not doing what it was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And and it's because of things like that. That people don't want to live in that digital world. That's where the NFTs will thrive. Because if you have an art gallery, right? And the only place you can see my exclusive art is in the metaverse. Obviously, people are going to have to go there to see your shit. That's how much people don't really care. Because nobody goes. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg paid like, somebody paid like $400,000 to be part of Snoop Dogg's metaverse. Oh, yeah, you got to buy, t- yeah, yeah, to buy a plot of land in his metaverse. That's stupid. To buy a fake plot of land. A fake plot of land. Hold up, my nigga. You saw the new headset, though? The new headset? Yeah, they got new augment reality headsets where... I go. What does it do? When you put, well, when you put it over your head, it has a clear thing here. Mm. So say I had it on my head right now. We could still have casual conversation and chill, and you wouldn't think that I'm in the other world. So, so it's like a transparent. It's more like augmented reality. Hmm. It's more like AR. Hmm. So you can have like three, four screens up at once. Hmm. Once you put it on, you can have like four screens up at once, watching four. I could do that with my my headset too, but I look like a fuck. I look like I'm from a movie when I put it on. Hmm. You know what I mean? My shit's all sticking out, and then uh, the only time you could see somebody is if they come in your field of view. So like, if they stand in front of you, I could see you. But other than that. If I'm if you're sitting right there and I'm all the way over there, you're not gonna know I'm in the room. So the AR, four or five different screens. It looked dope. It looked dope. All right, that's what I. That's how what much I do you pay for that? Oh, the new one's probably like seven. It's probably like seven. It's Apple. There you go. It's an Apple augmented reality. It's the Apple um headset. It sounds like an Apple. I think right it's now. probably gonna be like a thousand. VR, yeah, probably, VR right? I think it's AR, mm. augmented reality. You got virtual reality. That's the metaverse. That's where you're a person in another place. AR is when you when it's in your world. Oh, Vision Pro. Yeah, there you go. AR is when it's in your yeah, world. Yeah, but it's the it's it's the world's greatest AR play of 100. Told you AR, AR. device. It's See? called but it's called Vision Pro. Yeah, but it's an AR though. It's a bit it's a difference. I don't want people to get confused. AR okay. and VR is different. Okay, I can see I can see it now. Okay. See that right? It's not bad. It's fancier than glasses. It's quality and improved. Replication social dynamic in a way it presents those around the user. It's a wearable headset with an embedded camera that can take pictures or video on demand. And all, all the setting points of the vi- are things for wear experience. Okay. And I heard it's light. You don't feel like a fucking half a retard when you wear it. Wow. That's pretty dope. I, I remember seeing, I think, was it a part like that Apple showcase they had? Earlier? Yes, it was. Okay. I won't lie. When they come out with glasses that are, are small, mm-hmm. like regular size glasses for AR, I'll buy them. Regular size glasses for AR. Yeah, yeah. Augmented reality, regular size glasses, I'll buy them. Hmm. Because I don't want it to look obvious that I'm wearing glasses. You know what I'm saying? Like, that looks obvious if you're walking around in the street with that thing. Oh, yeah. They're going to see you. Yeah, I don't want it to look like that. When it don't look like that, I'll definitely buy the first pair of glasses that it fucking... Well, not the first. First is always fucked. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I can't eat this no more. Uh, no more food? Uh-huh. That shit, that shit ringing off in my stomach right now. It was good what, while it What was that? What was that? Uh, chicken quesadilla. Mm. Yeah, I have a cheese omelet upstairs. That chicken. I only ate the disco fries so far. Yeah, I told, I told the nigga, I was like, you made chicken quesadilla here? 
Again. And he was like, yeah. I was like, uh, is it good? He was like, yeah. I was like, all right. It was good, though. Hmm. But uh, as I'm talking, it's coming up. Ha <laughs> ha! Stupid. Oh, man. So what else is on the agenda for, agenda for the week, yo-yos? Let's see. For this week, oh, I have a gig on the 4th of July. I got a yo-yo at a golf course. Wow. You get paid for it, right? Yeah, it's a big gig. Nice. And then I know Katie has her event. Nigga said four. When? Huh? 4th of July? No, on this Saturday. Next Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday coming. Oh, this Saturday coming up. Yeah, she DM'd me. I'm going to fucking... She wanted me to be a judge. Oh, that's dope. Yep. Uh-huh. So, but so, so, you could throw in like one song in there. Look, I just want to tell everybody, I don't intentionally not go to your shows. Same. I got to, I got to make that clear now because I've been... Like, we don't uh, intentionally... told about that. Because people, yeah, people be coming down on me and DMing me. And look, I'm going to make y'all famous right now. This is how much I care about you guys DMing me that I don't go to your shows. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how much I care about it. Like, for real. I'm uh, sorry. Yo, let me explain something to you. Oh, guys. Come over here. About to get in the back. Come over here. Come over here. You, bro, I live on a computer. I live on a computer. And then when I'm done living... I go to live on the computer again. Going outside is not always going to be impactful for me. You understand? I don't get nothing out of seeing people perform. All due respect to all my peers, everybody that performs, salute to you. I love you. I'm not downplaying your skills, your talents. It's hard to get up on that stage. Good shit. It's not for me to acknowledge that you're up on that stage. You know, and I salute to everybody that came to my show. I salute to, yo, salute to everybody that supports I'll support you in another way. I'll fucking buy a ticket. I'll buy a t-shirt. I'll post your flyer. Don't expect me to be in the building for you, though. Don't expect me. Like, even if you DM me personally and you called me up and you begged me, there's a big chance I'm not going. I hate the slick way sometimes people ask you to come to their shows, like, especially in DMs. Like, hey, like, it'll be like, Oh, like peace, brother, or how you doing? Oh yeah, shit. yeah. They try yeah, to hit you yeah, with that yeah. one. I was like, motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't heard from you in six, seven yeah, yeah. months. Those, those you come out of nowhere with yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. That's the best one. When niggas, I ain't gonna mention who does that, but they I, do niggas, that a niggas lot. Haven't talked to you in a while, but niggas be like, yo, peace, brother. Oh, that's a line too. And peace, then brother. it's like a motherfucker I've never been to any of your shows, never fucking like ask about what you doing and stuff. But when it comes to like they have all these shows, they want to hit you up and make you come to their shows. It's like I've been to all they shows, but they never been to one of mine. And I've been in this shit for almost nine and a half years, and they never been to one show. I ain't gonna say who you are, but you know who the fuck you are. See, it's unintentional, but we just don't go to your shows. It's unintentional. Yeah. We 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 are on our own stride of doing things, and it's not it's not your it's not your job to make us fans of you. No. If we're all friends, you're supposed to make strangers fans. Yes, she's not supposed me. To, yes. I'm already a fan yes. of you. I've been yes. a fan of you. It's not gonna you fuck get, you, you up. Gotta, you gotta get the person that's never heard you perform. No. Like, and then most of the time I go see you perform, I already know what to expect. What about, what about the niggas that make you feel guilty for not coming? No, no, they made me feel guilty. Cause I'll tell you right back. That's what? like, oh, you never come to my show. I've had people. I've had so many people. Like, yo, bro, you, you can never. I'm gonna tell you, you can never make me feel guilty about coming to one of your shows ever. Because the only person I will ever give credit to that comes that actually legit comes to my shows, born the break night with me, is my father. My father is the best. Everything in the Wing world. Man in the world. Best greatest man that will do everything for me. Until you reach the level of my father, fuck all you niggas. Walk about, Rich. Yep. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. Yep. Ah. Thank you all for watching. Of course, this these is episodes very... are gonna wind up getting longer. Watch. Yep. They're gonna get longer, and we're gonna be getting all the special clips. And we're gonna have a porn star in here too. Well, more him than me. I'm gonna probably. I'm being real like Adam Twenty Two. I'm definitely. <laughs> I'm gonna make her fuck him. Nah, <laughs> can no. Uh, no, nah, oh my god, yo, no. son, do you think that nigga, do you think they ate went out to dinner after that? After Adam let him fucking pipe down his girl with a big uh, come black on, he'd be rude if he didn't. You did, you think he, he came out to, to dinner? Yeah, to. hold up, you think Adam paid him? Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe. wait, hold up, oh, yeah. hold up, that's another, hold up, wait, Adam paid this nigga to bang his wife. Yo, you a different yo, you a different maybe, type of white nigga. Maybe. What you mean? I don't, we don't know if he did. No, that nigga. What yo? If you got a fifteen inch dick, you're not just using it for no reason. They're paying you to show that thing off. They're yeah. paying you to show that. They paid for his fight to come through. They paid for it. And on top of that, they're using his likeness. He's paid for that. Adam twenty two cut this nigga a check to pipe his wife. You a different breed, man. You a different type of white. <laughs> mm.
And that that's supposed to come out with July thirteenth, I think. Yo, B, I gotta see it. I gotta see it. I gotta see it. I gotta see it. His but his wife is pretty bad too. No, she's not ugly. No, she's not ugly. She's not at ugly. All. She's not ugly. But Adam looks like he stinks, so she must smell too. You know when you know when you fuck like like I'm sorry. I'm just gonna we're walking out after this. I'm gonna I'm gonna get in trouble. I've I've fucked bitches that my mans have fucked, and I've stopped midway into sex because I I I I felt my man in the pra- in the in the spot. <laughs> <laughs> like damn, is this nigga's dick in here with mine? Why is it? Nah, this don't feel right. <laughs> and then you call your, and I call my man. I'm like, yo, son, when you say you hit that, nigga, like, I hit that like eight months ago. You sure? I was just with her, son, and your presence is still in there. That nigga hangs up the phone on you and calls her. Yo, I'm coming over. <laughs> nah. so, yo, have a good Sunday, y'all. Have a good Sunday. We got some music to record. Yeah, peace, loving yours to you all. Motherfucker.